This is the third and final video for this MPLS WAN series for avoiding the finger pointing that can occur when trying to maintain network stability of the customer side of an outsourced VPN service. VPN service providers hopefully have an array of tools for reliably maintaining their edge routers. What similar tools are available for their customers? It's quite different maintaining and managing edge routers when there's an opaque void between devices connecting the different sites of a customer's network. One way of ensuring a reliable connection between sites is by using redundancy. Customers sometimes choose backup VPN providers or at least configure multiple peerings with their single VPN provider in case something happens to their primary connection. This builds an element of fault tolerance into a network design. If you've designed your network this way, how do you know if your backup connection is active at any given moment? This is an important question to know since a backup by definition means not using it as a primary communication path indefinitely. Faults need to be identified quickly and remedied so that the primary connection can be brought back online. This video shows how the MPLS WAN product can help penetrate that void and provide insight into connectivity issues that can have major impacts on the overall reliability of a customer's VPN network. For this scenario, the starting point of the workflow is an alert that was delivered to the network operations team. Actually, for this situation, it was a series of alerts showing that a BGP peering went down in one site and other sites reported certain prefixes being unreachable. I'll go ahead and log into the web UI to confirm these alerts and investigate what this change may have done to the overall performance of the customer network. I'll set the time of the web map to just before the alerts occurred. Since I know this was some issue with the Seattle site, I'll pick a path between the Seattle site and one of the other sites. If I go ahead and start playing back the network events, I can see that around 11.30, just as the alerts reported, the primary BGP pairing with the VPN provider's edge router 10.66.220.114 switched to the alternate BGP peer 10.65.50.115. After pausing the playback, I can now go into the operations dashboard to see if there were any corresponding delays detected while the network was converging back to a steady state. Scrolling down to the relevant delay dashboard, I see a number of the CE to CE SLA tests that were fluctuating. The SLA delay test with the greatest change was between the Dallas site and the Seattle site. Clicking on this and adjusting the time window for better resolution shows that around 11.30, a spike in delay did occur. However, there are a few other spikes that are outside of the event time frame, so it may or may not have been related to the shifting of the provider edge router peerings. If I now go back to the map with the path highlighted and continue playing forward, I can see if the provider detected the fault and brought back online the primary peering. Apparently, the VPN provider noticed the outage or possibly finished some unscheduled maintenance around 12 o'clock because the primary came back up around that time. Make sense? Do you see how real-time alerting along with DVR-style playback of routing events can help bring a new level of trust between you and your VPN service provider? Packet Designs Route Explorer. Trust but verify.